Hey guys, it's Giselle. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of short. I just wanted to show you a few things that I bring with me when I go thrift store shopping. Um, Heather made my day today. She gave me a shout out on her YouTube channel and so that totally inspired me to do this video kind of for her. I've mentioned this before. Um, I go thrift store shopping for a few different reasons. Mostly because it's budget friendly, um, but also just because I have a really hard time with guilt when I spend a lot of money on something that I know that I could have gotten for less um, somewhere else. I like going to secondhand stores, consignment shops, thrift stores obviously, to try and find pieces that are of quality and that can last me a really long time without having to spend like this ridiculous price tag on it. So something that Heather said today in her video was that she's actually been carrying a backpack, um, that she carried a backpack with her when she went to the thrift store. Now I don't really have a preference, I do like to have my hands free. I haven't tried using a backpack before, um, I mean it's crossed my mind, I just don't even think I have a backpack that's not like my school or camping backpack, my North Face one, um, and it's a little too big for all the things that I need to carry with me, so I might actually start looking for one the next time I go to the thrift store. But for right now, I just use whatever bag is in my rotation at that time. I do really like crossbody bags because I can just cross them and forget about it. Right now, I'm still using my Rebecca Minkoff 5-zip crossbody bag. Um, it probably is too fancy to take to the thrift store, honestly, but I don't even care. I don't like to switch things out too much. I'll just stick to one purse and then use it for a few weeks and then switch it up again. So I'll admit I'm kind of a bag lady, so the last couple days I've been putting my bag inside of another bag and then carrying that shoulder bag with my water bottle and other like miscellaneous things that I need. So. First thing I do when I go thrift store shopping is make sure that I have my phone. I have left my phone on a couple of occasions when I've gone thrifting and it was the worst. Like, kind of like when you're going to the gym and you forget your headphones and you're like, oh, should I work out? Should I not work out? Like, I don't have my music. What do I do? Go home, turn around, go get your headphones, come back. That's happened to me before only without my phone and it was miserable. So I bring my phone for two reasons and it's not even to stay connected with friends and family, however, it is helpful for that too. I bring my phone for two reasons. The first one being I always look up the brand. I like to shop at thrift stores for brand names that I don't know. I look for quality pieces of brands that I recognize or that I know that are good quality that I could probably not get my hands on otherwise, like expensive boots or expensive jackets or things like that. So I always bring my phone because if I recognize an, a label but don't know exactly who it is, I always Google it right then and there, take a picture of the item. That way I can look up what the item is potentially worth and if that brand is of good quality. If it's not, if it's in like the low 20s, sometimes low 30s, I usually put it back because that means I can probably find something similar if I just go on over to the mall. And then the second reason why I bring my phone is because Women, I think, especially have this issue with self-confidence, um, image insecurities. I'm no different. And I read something like a long time ago. I think I was in high school maybe uh, or maybe college. I don't remember, but it was a while ago. And it was this quote that said, um, a mirror shows you how you feel and a picture shows you how you look. And so I have just utilized that into my life. Anytime I go shopping, I always photograph myself because if I'm having a bad day, my confidence is low, someone made me mad, I'm upset, I'm sad about something, like I don't want that to project into how I think I might look. So something may look really awesome and killer on me, but if I'm just having a bad day, I'm not going to believe it and I might pass up something that's really cool and that I'll regret not buying. So I always photograph it. Like if you were to scroll through my phone right now, it's all pictures of outfit stuff and it's not for the sake of the selfie. It's really because if I take a picture of something and I'm not sure about the item and I put it back, I will go back to that photo maybe a day or two later and think about, okay, do do I like how I look in this picture? Not my face, but do I like the piece of clothing that's on my body in this picture? And if it's yes, then I will go back and try to find it. And if it's no, then I just delete it. And I know that that piece probably wasn't my style. Something about it didn't fit right, which I probably knew intuitively when I tried it on anyway. So. That's the reason why I bring my cell phone. The next thing that I always bring with me when I go to the thrift store is, which this might seem like a no-brainer, 
a hand purifier. Now I use the one by Young Living. This is the Thieves hand purifier. This stuff is absolutely amazing. There's no alcohol in this so it will not dry out your hands. I am like obsessed. Might be obvious but you just never know who has touched the product, how it was washed, if it was washed before it got there, if the employees you know do some kind of like de-germing or if that's even a word I don't know, some sterilizing to the items um, before they're put out on the racks. So I've probably gone through like at least three of these in the last couple of months. I love them. They're in my purse, in my car, at my office, like they're just everywhere. So I always, always, always have Thieves Hand Purifier with me because you just never know. The next thing I always have with me when I go to the thrift store is lavender essential oil. So I've talked about lavender before in other videos. I rave about it. It's the best thing ever. Um, but I always bring lavender with me because every time I go to the thrift store, my senses just get really thrown off. I get itchy. I get watery eyes. My skin gets a little irritated sometimes. I almost feel like my senses are just like hypersensitive when I get there. And so I always use lavender, either a drop in my hands after using that purifier and just like breathing it in or I'll actually directly put it on my tongue and then you know take a sip of water okay so that brings me to the next thing so I always bring a water bottle with me I feel naked if I don't have a water bottle I don't know what it is but this one is just my hydro flask it's in the color I think tropical mango whoa I don't know what's going on um, well this is just the Let's see, 21 ounce standard mouth hydro flask. It's got my little stickers on it from uh, my yoga studios that I go to and then a wildlife organization that I support here in Dayton. Um, I always carry water with me. I seriously feel naked if I don't have it and I just always feel like if I'm thirsty, I need my water like right then and there. So it is kind of big to take with me thrift store shopping but I usually have a cart so I just like plop it right there. Um, but I always have to have water with me. I like panic if I don't have my water. And then the next thing I always have with me, which this is just who I am as a person, so yeah, but I always have a snack. I am such a snacker. Like my bag always has, you know, like a little Ziploc bag of almonds or I'll have like a piece of dark chocolate or I'll have a Lara bar. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough. This one's seriously my favorite. It's made with dates um, and some other delicious things, chocolate chips, love chocolate. So I always, 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 always have a snack with me because sometimes I plan to be at the thrift store for like an hour or two and I don't find anything and I'm gone in 20 minutes. And then it's the times when I don't think I'll find anything. I'm not really feeling inspired. Nothing's really grabbing me. And then I'm there for like four hours and I'm starving. So I usually have at least one in my bag. But if you know me at all, I probably have two, maybe even three. So I always wear sandals when I go to the thrift store. That might be weird to some people. Um, I'll always bring socks, which I don't have socks in my bag right now. There's no point to run upstairs and grab some socks and show you my socks. But if I go thrifting, I always wear sandals just for the sake of keeping things like hassle free because I don't want to be like slipping on, slipping off like a tennis shoe um, and then I just feel like I get really annoyed like constantly bending over, taking the shoe off. Um, but just for hygienic reasons, like I'll always bring a pair of socks just in case. Typically wear are just my Birkenstocks. Um, these were a gift like a super long time ago. Don't know what they're called. They're kind of gross because I've had them for a really long time. Um, but they're sturdy. I used to wear flip flops but then I felt like my flip-flops would get really dirty and beat up really like quickly. I wear my Birkenstocks because they're really sturdy. They'll hold up for a long time. Um, I feel like these babies are like rock solid and nothing could break them. So I wear these and I bring socks. So that basically covers what I bring with me when I go thrifting. So now I'm going to show you the last uh, couple of things that I picked up. I'm going to start off with one of my favorite little finds and it is just this adorable little planter and I don't know if the camera will pick it up but it's got this really gorgeous like rope pattern I don't know if you can really see what that is it almost looks like it has like leaves and then this part to me looks like it's a rope um, it feels really sturdy it's probably ceramic I'm not 100% sure um, funny story about this Jeffrey and I went to Lowe's to go get some plants this plant and I wanted it for my office and they had all their little like terracotta planters and some other ceramic planters and the lowest price for them for something this size I think was anywhere from like $8 and up and 
my gut was just like, you can find it for less somewhere else. You can find something cuter somewhere else. So I was like, honey, let's go home. And he was like, why do you want to leave so fast? I was like, because the thrift store is closing in 30 minutes. I need to drop you off so I can go to the thrift store and find a planter. So we came home. And really quickly, I went to the Goodwill that's right down the road from my house. I don't normally go to Goodwill, but sometimes I'll just swing by if I'm bored or whatever. And so I walked in and I found this perfect planter, perfect size for my plants, um, and it was only $1.99. I knew I was gonna find something awesome. I knew I was gonna find something in the aesthetic that I like, and it's the perfect little home for my plant of steel. And this actually lives at my desk um, at work, but I need to resoil it because it's kind of getting um, a little mushy in there, so I just want to replant it and then take it back to work tomorrow. The next thing I think I've talked about before, I'm not 100% sure, I'm almost positive that I have. They're not super recent, but I've been wearing them recently, and just in case if I never talked about them, they are these black moto boots. They're like biker um, low ankle boots. They've got the silver hardware in the front. I bought these, I don't know, probably a few months ago. I'm honestly not 100% sure. <clears throat> Sorry. And I kind of just tucked them away because for whatever reason, like, I loved them when I bought them. And, and then I forgot about them. And then recently I picked them up to wear with a pair of cutoff shorts. And I've been loving them and wearing them a lot more lately. So these actually were... Well, it still says it right there. These were $6.99, um, and they did have some signs of wear when I bought them. Um, I don't think they were that worn. I don't quite remember. Um, I don't think they were that worn, though, and I thought they were in good shape, so I did end up picking them up. Obviously, I own them. I have them now. And they're size 6, which I'm typically between a 6 and a 6.5, and so if it's a 6, I can kind of deal with it if it's a little tight. And if it's a 6.5 and, and it's a little big, then I can just wear a thin sock and I'm good. Um, and the brand is called Double H Boot Company. So like I mentioned earlier, I always bring my phone because that brand was not familiar to me, but the leather and the, like, the feel of these boots felt really sturdy, so I actually Googled the brand and I found a pair on eBay, I think for like 120 bucks. So I was like, $6.99, you're going home with me. And the last thing that I picked up recently is this really nice denim dress. And I've already worn it multiple times, so that's why it kind of looks like, I don't know, a wrinkly hot mess. Um, but I've been looking for a denim dress for a really long time, and I don't know if it's like big booty problems or just my shape or that I'm small and I have a butt or whatever it is. But like they just don't fit my body type, but I'm like determined to find one that fits me. This one fits me well, but it doesn't fit me the way I see it fitting me like in my head. But this brand is called Philosophy. And when I bought this, it still had the original price tag. It was $89.50. And I know they sell Philosophy at Anthropology and Urban Outfitters too, I believe. For sure at Anthro. Um, so that's when I was like, holy shit, like I absolutely have to buy this. I know that brand. I know it's so soft, good quality. And it still had the original tag and extra button. So I was like, this is mine, have to have it. I'll typically spend is like 10 to $12. Like I don't think I've ever spent $15 on anything at a thrift store. Like I just kind of laugh and put it back. But anyway, so this is that denim dress. It's got the little button detail on the side so you can cuff up the sleeves and fold them up. And then it also has really cute pockets. And I have worn this already um, a few times now to go to dinner with my mom, be out and about. It's kind of a high-low hem. I think if I remember, I'll try it on really quick and show you what it looks like. All I've got for you. All right, guys, I'm losing daylight, so that's gonna wrap it up for me right now. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you wanna see more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great night. Bye.